The Black Ops Cold War beta is finally here on PC, and of course I had to make a settings video for it, but I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings to improve your frames and performance without making the game look like complete crap. But before we do that, I should let you guys know that I do stream Monday through Friday mornings over on Twitch. Link is in the description, so come hang out over there, ask me any questions if you have any from this video, and let's just get into the settings. All right, so for this video, we're just going to be going over graphic settings. So first things first. First, uh, display mode, I always recommend full screen no matter what game you're playing. It's going to decrease input lag and just make everything feel smoother overall. So playing full screen. And then the second setting is just which monitor you want your game to be on. So obviously just put it on your main monitor. And then refresh rate, if you do have 144 hertz or 240 hertz monitor or whatever, always make sure this is set to that here. Otherwise, you're not going to be fully utilizing the frames you're getting in the game, and it's going to feel like you're playing on console. Moving down to gameplay vSync and menu vSync, you always want vSync disabled. It's just going to add an unnecessary amount of input lag. Um, the only reason you would want to put this setting on is if you're getting a lot of screen tearing, but even if you are getting a lot of screen tearing, I would just keep it off because it's going to add input lag but if you're getting a lot of screen tearing and it's bothering you you would want to enable vsync but i would recommend keeping this disabled no matter what then render resolution you're always going to want to have this at 100 and then display resolution obviously if you're playing on a 1080p monitor have this at 1920 by 1080 if you're playing on 1440p or 4k make sure that's set accordingly here and then aspect ratio at automatic now scrolling down a little bit we got colorblind type which i leave disabled if you're colorblind or just like how the game looks with these enabled obviously set that accordingly but i just play with this disabled because i'm not colorblind and then field of view i'm sure most of you guys know what field of view is by now but the higher this bar is the more increased well field of view you're gonna have so everything is gonna look more zoomed out and you're gonna be able to see more like in your peripheral vision compared to when it's at a lower setting this is really kind of a personal preference setting right here i like 120 so just mess around with this a bit and see what looks best to you i just like it all the way zoomed out because i can see more and i feel like i'm moving faster and i just i just like that a lot and then for ads field of view so basically what this does is if you put this at affected when you ads your field of view is going to be unchanged and then if you switch it to independent your field of view is going to ads to the default field of view so i like to have this on affected it makes everything feel a little more smooth but if you're playing at 120 fov with affected field of view keep in mind that when you do zoom in everything's going to look a lot smaller but it's also going to feel like you have a lot less recoil so having this on affected can be really nice but if you're having trouble seeing enemies when you're scoped in or shooting them when you're scoped in independent could be a good option for you as well for frame rate limit i just have this set to unlimited because i want to squeeze as many frames as possible out of the game and then we're going to scroll down here to the details and textures i do have texture quality at medium which makes the game still look good while also increasing my performance if you're still having some performance issues after this video is done you could lower this down to low and it'll still look somewhat decent but once you get down to the lowest the game starts to kind of look bad so i wouldn't really recommend it unless you really really need to so medium's what i recommend there and then texture filtering quality i put this on low doesn't really affect how the game looks too much and then for model quality i would put this on low this is going to boost your frames a good bit if you don't like the way the game looks you could bump it up to medium but even between low and high, I haven't noticed the game to look any different. So that's why I'm keeping it on low to get as many frames as possible. And then special effects quality I have on medium, which is the lowest setting. I would not recommend putting this on high. This will impact your frames a lot. And then screen space reflection disabled. And then object view distance. I started out with this at high because I thought I'd want to see objects at a longer distance. But I noticed reducing this down to medium improved my frames a good bit and I haven't noticed a difference in seeing objects like at longer ranges so i might even end up putting this down to low i might test it out but for now i would recommend medium because i've noticed no difference between medium and high 
when it comes to seeing objects at long ranges. So I'd recommend keeping this at medium. Scrolling down, we got volumetric lighting, which I keep this at low. Shadow quality, I keep this at low. Shadows will impact frames a lot. So I would really recommend putting this on low if you're looking for performance. If you don't like the way the shadows look, you could bump it up the medium and it's going to look a little better, but your frames are going to go down just a little bit. I would definitely not go above medium on the shadow quality setting though. Then dynamic shadows we have disabled, and then special effects shadows disabled, weapon shadows disabled, and then this NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I have it enabled and boosted. And then for anti-aliasing quality, I have this disabled. I prefer the way the game looks that way and it's gonna boost your frames a lot with this disabled, but it's gonna make edges on everything look a little jagged. And I know some people just don't like how that looks. So if you don't like how that looks, I would recommend setting this to medium. And then motion blur, you always want motion blur disabled. It's just going to make things hard to see. And then subsurface scattering disabled. Order independent transparency disabled. And then display gamma, if you're on a monitor, I'd put it on computer sRGB. And I think if you're like on a big screen TV, you want to have this set to HD TV. But if you're playing on PC, you're most likely playing on a monitor. Then for display adapter, just have your graphics card set here. It'll probably be on auto select by default, which is fine as well because it's most likely selecting your graphics card, but I just selected my graphics card here. And then CPU priority management, I have this set to automatic and then that's it. You're good to go. This is going to improve your frames a lot and your game's not going to look like complete crap. So if this video did help you out at all, please drop a like. It helps me out so much and if you are new subscribing i would really appreciate that and just a reminder i do stream monday through friday mornings over on twitch so if you do have any questions link is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web peace